New this evening, we're looking into complaints about wrong way crashes here in the Piedmont Triad. Four people were killed early yesterday morning on US 52 in Winston-Salem. The surviving driver is in the hospital right now in critical condition. Good evening. This is the Fox 8 5 o'clock news. I'm Neil McNeil. Fox 8's Madison Forsey has been looking into this today. She's live near the crash site. So Madison, what have you been able to learn today? We know that the crash happened between the 3rd Street Bridge, which I'm standing on right now, and the exit for 52 to 421. What we're still working to learn is which car is responsible for this crash, where they got on the highway going the wrong way, and just how long they were traveling in that direction. One thing, though, the images of this crash people in the triad saw yesterday and today are sticking with them, and they're thinking not if this will happen to them, but when. Scenes like this. It's a head on. With twisted metal, cars in pieces. I got a couple of tracks, KLS, CPMS and fire coming. And first responders searching through debris haunt drivers in the triad. After the crash early Sunday morning along US 52, many of you reached out with concerns, wondering why these wrong way crashes keep happening. We did some digging and learned, according to the North Carolina Department of Transportation, there were only four wrong way crashes across Forsyth County last year. In 2021, the number drops to two. The numbers in Forsyth are much lower than neighboring Guilford County, with eight in 2022 and 10 in 2021. We talked to NCDOT officials about the problem earlier this year. Not a lot of wrong way crashes in, in North Carolina. It's just when they occur, they're horrific, right? They're, they're typically tragic. There's typically going to be the loss of life. Statewide, the number of wrong way crashes increased from 2021 to 2022. In the same time, the number of fatalities doubled. It does seem to go through cycles where we have, we have many kind of close together. Uh, and then there'll be a period of time that they're less frequent. Brian Mayhew with NCDOT says they're starting a statewide pilot program to study where and how often these crashes are happening. Based on what they find, they could try out new ways to alert other drivers someone is going the wrong way, like flashing lights or additional signage. I think that uh, the signs and markings that we have now are, are reasonable. Uh, and I think that they're adequate based on the information that we have today. But obviously we know that wrong way driving is occurring. I asked a spokesperson from the NCDOT if there are any places in the triad that will be a part of that pilot program. They tell me they have not picked specific locations just yet. In Winston-Salem, Madison Forsey, Fox A News. All right, Madison.